became some kind of men's shelter. Might have been called McGuadier after that. You see, you had a prison one. I'm confused. Where were you flying, Richie? Was it Arrow or Blue Thunder? <laughs> So what's going to happen with this 24 million? I'm a little lost here, Richard. Is uh, is this frozen assets? Uh, uh, what's going on? Because I always hear you mentioning 24 million. Are you going to buy the biggest and greatest CB warehouse on the East Coast that you were bragging about when uh, when you went fr unfreeze these assets? What's going on, Richard? Please uh, elaborate to the public, sir. Richie V. Caprano has that for 24 million somewhere, man. I don't know if it's in his mattress, under that white bucket he sits on. Maybe he dug a hole in that basement floor. But he supposedly has 24 million dollars from some uh, from some asset that he uh, that it valued at 24 million up in Chester, New York. Richard, uh, you better you know don't sleep on that money, man, because you know we, we don't want anyone stealing that fortune, Richard. You know, at least get one of the 24 million so you could get yourself. Uh, a nice station there, Richard. Get some nice, you know, nice boxes. You know, you can have a nice smile when you are dealing with your customers. You know, come on. I'm sure you can extract a few dollars out of that fortune. Might as a helicopter. You know how many helicopters you can get with that kind of money? You can have a whole fleet of helicopters. And on the side of it, have a big W. A big W for for winner, and then you know have RC to the side of that. RC, right, Richard? Come on, I can picture you right now with all those helicopters in your fleet, a bunch of gigabyte scooters. You can have your own patrol out there, Richard. But you got to spend some of that guilt, man. Spend that fortune. I mean, if I had $24 million uh, stashed somewhere, uh, you know, I'm not going to sit on it. You know, come on, what, what good is it? Especially the way his health is deteriorating. You want to utilize that money. Enjoy it now, Richard. Think about it. Maybe Sade even give you the time of day if you have that kind of money. He can have his own heliport right there, right, right in uh, 46 in Winthrop, right in his backyard. He can have his own heliport. Man, is that a dirty signal? That's one thing about this scope, man. You can see everyone, everybody's RF signature. <laughs> but you got to know what you're looking at, though. You got to know how to read it. How about looking on the uh, spectrum over there, breaker, breaker? Oh, yeah. It is definitely wide, broadbanded. I tell you, man, I got the uh, 6 kilohertz filter in this radio here. The new radio sounds really nice on this uh, radio. Yeah, well, you know, I'm using this is a 9K. That's pretty wide. I could make it more narrow, but I like 9K. Mm -hmm. yeah, I 
you. I can make this one wider, but like I said, this is a mobile ring. I only got damn stock mic on it. I'll put some uh, audio gear on it, and uh, it would be a different story. Yeah, Roger. No, it sounds good. What happened to Richard? Where'd he go? He out back. Put that spliff down, Richard. Hey, Brown Horner, stop making all that noise. Hey, hey, Mr. Brown Horner, stop making all that noise, Doc Plucker. Oh, yeah, man. I got it all. Hey, Brown Hornet, Brown Hornet, got it all because you said it all. You know what it is. At Forza 250. Oh, yeah, with the Death Star. And I just got down. We all have yourself a blessed day. He's better than the six million dollar man. That's the twenty-four million dollar man. All bionic. Oh yeah, that man could talk, man. He's got that bionic jaw. You got that right. He could talk. Lord have mercy. How's he do it? Don't forget it's soon to be wife Sade, don't forget about her. Mr. Dope Man. Mr. Dope Man, give me a hit. Da na na na. Hey, Richard, you better spend some of that $24 million, Richard. you imagine how much interest you've made on that $24 million in all those years? Wow. It's probably about $80 million now. I think he's waiting to be reinstated. I think once they reinstate him, once uh, Donald Trump reinstates his uh, credentials, gives him back his four guns and his four badges, then I think he's going to spend some of that money. Because he's got his then he's going to have the green light to come after all his enemies. Ooh, we gotta watch out now. Then you got to watch out for Black Hawk helicopters flying over your crib. Better start digging the fallout shelter. Attention, this is the NCAA U.L. Cali Tunnel. As you approach the tunnel, you are Man, that keys way too high. Hey, Arnold. Jackie, damn it, boy. Oh yeah. Can you feel what the rock is cooking? He smokes that skunk. This is the MCA Queen's Midtown Tunnel. Be aware as you approach 
the tunnel, you will encounter an overhyped vehicle. There you go, Richie. I want to ask you a question. Vehicles over 12 foot 1 inch. Girlfriend. Hey, when he comes back, somebody tell him, uh, well, we know he didn't leave, but I got me a nice new HD camera, man. I want to I wanna go there one day and uh, shoot a biography on him. Well, the first thing he's going to say, the first thing he's going to come out of his mouth, he's going to say that they tried to kill him back in the day when uh, he was a young rookie, that they were gunning for him. That's the first thing that you'll hear from him. Yeah, man, they, they would try to kill me. Yeah, uh, you, know, you know, I wouldn't give. You know, I wouldn't give up. You know, you know, I have my my badges, and uh, you know, I, the crooked cops trying to kill me, dog. You know, he'll start off with a story like that, or maybe back in uh, what is it, in '96 Avenue U, and West Fourth in Brooklyn when he took down those three uh, alleged uh, hitmen for the uh, Gambino crime family. He single-handedly killed one of them, and ripped out his esophagus with the eagle claw technique. Ask him about that one. Closed casket funeral. Uh, we, we can make a movie, man. We can make a movie on him. I want to. I want to do a video biography of him. Uh, we're gonna make a movie. Uh, we're gonna call it uh, the Crack Fellows. Maybe that's the twenty-four million dollars he's talking about. You know, it might become a, a, a hit. Who knows, man? Might have four or five stars after we're done, or after you're done with the production. You know what I'm saying? That that would be a hit, man. Think about it. Well, he likes to talk. He likes to, you know, he likes to uh, run his gums, you know. Just get him started, man. Just, you know, pretend you actually believe what he says. And, uh, you know, look at him straight in the eyes and you say, yes, yeah, sir, you know. Uh, you know, every, the inquirer of minds want to know. We want a little biography of, uh, you know, you, we know you're a legend, man. You're one of, those, uh, one of those good cops, you know what I mean? They couldn't turn you. You're basically like a Serpico. No one can buy him, you know what I'm saying? He's one of the good guys. And he'll start talking. He has no teeth. How are you going to do that? Well, you don't need teeth to, to tell stories, you know. Teeth are for chewing food. He could still talk. We'll encounter an overhyped Come on, if you're going to do a biography on him, and you put him on a video, he's going to be embarrassed by talking. He's not going to talk. Well, someone's willing to get a pair of choppers for him at one of the local... Uh, a funeral homes, you know, you grab it out of a, a cadaver's mouth and, you know, just pop him in Richie's mouth just temporarily so uh, he'll have a little appeal, you know what I mean? Well, we got to get his uh, jaw size and everything measured. Well, according to yesterday, because of his status, he's not entitled to public assistance, only food stamps. It's in yesterday's gate, or if you want to watch my gate yesterday. That's what he was telling Brown Hornet. He's, according to his being that he's uh, a suspended without pay uh, dignitary, he's not entitled to uh, public assistance. Well, he says he's not collecting food stamps because uh, he doesn't bother. He wants it for the needy, you know. You know, I, I guess if you're in front of McDonald's and you can, you know, there's a lot of people that hand them food, you know. I myself would hand them a, a dollar menu and say, what, what do you want to eat? I, I can't see anyone hungry. I'll buy him a, a, a 99 cents burger and fries and I get him a dollar soda and he can get the uh, the big one, you know, biggest that you could drink and take the cup home. I, I, I can't see anyone hungry. So he'll definitely, uh, he could go to the dollar menu. I, I even go better than that. I get him a, a Big Mac, whatever he chooses. But, he, you know, I need that interview. Maybe uh, when I go there this summer, at uh, Utica and Clarkson, you know, we'll get the full interview. Uh-oh. That's what music was about, man. Not about violence. It was about uh, uh, peace, happiness, and uh, togetherness. I do that every now and again as I break out the, uh, break out 
got the LPs, man. Let's spin some of the old stuff. Don't worry, guys. I know we have a holy good goodie party about once a year. Let me show y'all guys getting a ride in. I know we have like a holy good goodie party. I'm talking about nothing but holy good goodies. Shit, they are reminisce, drinking, and dance. Sounds like fun to me, man. Hey, we gotta have a barbecue this year, man. All the good guys on this channel, we gotta all get together, have a barbecue. Invite Richie, you know, everybody. Let me know, I'm a grill master. Let me know, I'm a grill master, man. I love to grill. Anybody who knows me, I love to grill, bro. See, that's what I'm talking about. But you gotta make it extremely, uh, the, the meat gotta fall off the bone, you know. Some of us don't have all our teeth, you know what I'm saying? But uh, you gotta make sure that meat's nice and tender. See, Richie, we're being nice, man. We want to hook you up, man. A nice meal, nice barbecue. But you got to show up, Richie. It's not about violence. It's about getting together and uh, all the good guys in the good in the good guy crew. We can all talk, man. We can all sit back, have a barbecue, maybe get an interview out of, out of the man himself, that $24 million man. You know, we're going to have a good time this summer. That's right. You know, our 007 does that. Every time we go to the key dot, the... Uh yeah, because little by little, guys are leaving us, you know what I'm saying? A lot of the old timers, uh, they're dropping, man. They're getting up there in age. We're not getting any younger. That's right. That's why I thought it would be a good idea to, uh, you know, shoot a video on Richie there, you know, uh, get his story, get it on, uh, get it on video. Over Listen, everyone should be able to tell their story. I guess, man. I guess. You know, the, the video games on YouTube eventually they're going to disappear, man. So, but we can make a Channel 19 movie, the biography of the dog. What is that, 1080p or 4K? 4K. Oh, that's even better, man. I'm just like you, man. I like the good stuff. All right, I figured that. I, you know, I don't like to question you when it comes to the good stuff, but I just had to ask. Yeah, I work just like you, man. I make the paper too. Oh, absolutely, man. You know, listen, that's one thing, and, and you hear me say it all the time, man. You only live once. You work hard, enjoy yours, as long as you're not hurting anyone. Enjoy what you make, man. Save some for the bills, save some for a rainy day, but you definitely got to enjoy your money, man, because uh, that's what it's there for. You can't take it with you, man, you know? Well, you got some some people who are extremely wealthy. They freeze their body, and they think that uh, in 100, 200 years from now, they're going to be regenerated and uh, live another life. Whether that's true or not, whether that will ever happen, I don't know. I don't know if science will pro progress to that point 100 years from now. As if we don't blow, our, blow each other up, you know what I mean? We still, the planet got to survive before that ever happened. But there are people actually freeze their bodies thinking that's going to happen one day. You never know, man. It's technology these days. You never, never know. But I'm a firm believer of the cycle of life. The point of the cycle of life is death. So, I don't, don't want to live forever, do you? Not at all, man. There was an old saying back in the day, I remember when you used to have the uh, the Bowery hobos and uh, he had a tattoo on his arm and it said born to die you know that image stood in my head never forgot it I was a kid and I never forgot that image that's right we're all born to die well live forever live forever you watch your family die all people you love die at this time I, I wouldn't want to go through that forever. I would think it would be a curse if you live forever. That, yeah, you're right. All the loved ones, people you know, will, uh, will be deceased in front of you and you will continue. Nah, I don't think anybody wants to live forever. But we got, we got Richie's claim that he's going to live another 400 years. So, Some of us have internal life, I guess. But, uh, you know, it is what it is, man. It all depends what you believe in. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I believe you live a good life. You do the right thing and... Uh, Hopefully, uh, when Judgment Day comes, uh, you know, you'll be sent to the right place. It all depends on, uh, I guess, the life you led. But uh, like anything, man, we all can uh, 
we all could be forgiven for our sins. You just got to be uh, sincere about it. You know what I mean? I don't want to sound like some kind of religious freak or anything, but uh, hey, I believe in karma. I believe in uh, what comes around goes around. You know what I'm saying? Hey, absolutely. Absolutely, man. Dude. If you do good in life, life will do good by you. If you do fucking shit in life, it catches up to you. Karma is a totally, totally true. And uh, I try to do the best I can in my life. I try to live my life happy. You know what? I only got one life, so I try to do the best with it. Where you at? That's a Raj on that. Raj -o. Anyway, it's about that time. I'm looking at the clock. It's a, I'm going in a little late today, I think. But, uh, all right. Take care, 2x4, Crazy Eddie, 225, pickup truck, number four, I mentioned you. Everyone else out there, you have a blessed morning, Brown Hornet, all the good crew out there. If I left anyone out, my apologies. You know who it is, I'm Foster 250, somewhere on the lower deck. Until next time, bye, 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 bye. Notice how he keys up when he thinks I'm gone. Joe Stone, his partner.